Hey Saber fans, Tony here from Rune Sabers, and today we've got another unboxing video for you. Now this is a Rudy Pando crystal reveal for Mark 1 and Steel V2s from Roman Props. Now I'll go into what it's made out of, how you can apply it, why it only applies to certain hilts, and what exactly I'm going to do with it carrying going forward. Please like and comment, of course, if you like these videos. If you want to see what I'm doing next with this, let me know. Of course, without further ado, let's get into it. You know what? It might not be taped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think it was taped. Which is nice. I can just rip it open. Look at that! <laughs> Alright, so now this thing is open. Fantastic paper, just like we expected. Lies, deception. That was a box. Okay. Coupons. Coupons. Look at that. Look at that. Toothpaste. Toothpaste. M&M's. Okay, that's not what we're here. Okay. No, we don't know. Eminem, if you want to sponsor us, that'd be great, but that's not gonna happen. Okay, this is. Okay, see the. T now we need the knife. Nope, never mind. This looks like it is wrapped in. Um. Some type of cloth. Anti. I mean, oh, holy crap. Cow. Okay, so this is what it comes with. That is incredible. So it has. Um, what I've heard and what I ordered is has brass knobs. Uh synthetic or resin casting crystal and an aluminum um, uh, body and so what you can do is uh, the retention screw that it comes with magic um, the retention screw that it comes with and stuff uh, basically you have a system here that that you see the the crevice here and you can lock it in and go down now this threading only works with um, the way that Rudy has designed it is to go with a Mark One or a MK One. I mean, no, Mark One from Roman Props, which is his A New Hope, a new, uh, Obi Wan saber, or the Steel V Twos, or any of his V Two work. So anything Luke, Return of the Jedi esque. And so, yeah. So your Graflex clamp would go over here, and this is sadly <laughs> the interior diameter for a chassis is actually pretty small. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but it's quite small compared to the rest of the stuff. So your chassis is going to be kind of. Um, interesting enough lopsided or, or thinner in some aspects to other chassis so but yeah that's great it has channels inside the wires that you can put um wiring through which is ironic enough i guess the tubing of the copper wire you can put wires in and so it's hollow which is really quite nice but you're gonna have to use almost 22 gauge wire or smaller um to fit in there the way you want it to I don't know if this any of this stuff unscrews. I know you can buy 3D parts where you can clip on to these, this golden um, or brass sections, and then people, what they usually do is bend these brass sections more towards the crystal. So, not sure if I'll do that quite yet, if I'm brave, because I mean, I just got it. Some people also um, sand this stuff down because it still has the machine finish, and so I don't know how well you guys can see that, but you can kind of see the rivets and stuff that are there. Um, but yeah, it has enough space for sure to put or mount an LED in there with threading and so like that. You can also probably put another crystal in there if you wanted to. It's really neat. But yeah, so what's ha gonna happen from here is I will buy either a MK1 from Roman Props or a Steel V2, weathered completely, or just the bare one. Um, they're steel, so they're very durable, but this will be my last saver in the collection. Um, now, if you guys want to order this, um, Ruby might have a few of them left. Um, when I messaged him, he said he had a limited run left and so if you can get these definitely go and grab them because it is absolutely amazing these are very very nice a lot of detail for inside a saber for a shelf queen or even a fully installed lightsaber now this costed um cost 170 dollars uh just for this with shipping and stuff to the u.s he, well the website that i saw it was um like a discussion page it started at 155 and then as the depending on where it's shipping it adds like 15 dollars or 10 dollars or whatever for shipping um and so yeah it was about 170 total but it's pretty hefty for aluminum brass aluminum and brass i guess the brass is what makes it probably heavy but and so if you wanted to lock it in and you wanted to still be able to, I guess, mess around with it and hold on your belt, you tighten this retention screw down so you didn't have um, this movement here. Now, you want to be careful because if you tighten it down too much, you might scrape it and wear down that, that channel and then you might not get any um, retention at all. It might be loose the rest of the time. So, um, yeah. All the installs I've seen have differed. Um, 
but yeah i'm very excited to kind of do a, a, my first crystal reveal with this thing and see how it goes and so um, if you guys want crystal reveals as an option now if this is successful then i feel confident about doing your guys' sabers as well so yeah that's kind of it as the review goes it's nothing too in depth i'll probably go more in depth about the the saber i'm installing it in and seeing how it mechanics once once i install it and stuff as well and kind of the process so that's it for the review um as short as it may be i hope this was kind of insight please if you're interested go hit up rudy um i'll put his information below um for you guys to check him out and see if he has any left for you guys so yeah so with this crystal reveal we're gonna have different parts and so if you are interested in that please um if they're up go check out the other videos that these are going to be linked to and stuff as the install and the process and then the full review as well as we're going to do unboxing with the hilt that, it, that this works with and stuff like that if you like this of course please subscribe and just stay tuned with all the content we're releasing have a wonderful day and may the force be with you